Moidles, or Mobile 3D Laser Scanner, is the world's first mobile app that allows you to create a 3D scan of an object with just your mobile device, a line laser, and a rotating platform. Together with the Moidles hardware, Hobby 3D Scanning is finally affordable. Let's take a look at how it works. First, we need to record the laser scanning the object, and this is done in the Capture tab. In order for Moidles to accurately calculate the points, we need to put the camera and laser in known positions. Luckily, the Moidles platform has alignment lines to center the camera. We set up the camera by clicking on Setup Camera. The first step is adjusting the camera so it's perfectly level and aligning with the center of the platform. Moidles has handy bubble level indicators and a center alignment line that, together with the Moidles platform, makes this a snap. Second step is locking the focus. We press the screen on a location close to where the laser will be hitting the object to get the cleanest line and lock the focus there. Third step is locking the exposure. We turn on the mobile device's light to artificially adjust exposure, selecting the brightest portion of the screen to get as little exposure as possible and lock it into place. As you can see, this results in a very dark picture, but once we turn the laser on, the line is remarkably crisp and clean. The fourth step is setting the platform distance, width, and laser angle. The laser angle must be as accurate as possible. Luckily, the Moidles platform has built-in angle markings to make this a snap as well. We're now ready to record a scan. Pressing the record button brings up an alert telling us to turn on the laser and start the platform rotating. I always try to start recording just before and easily distinguished feature, in this case one of the ears, and stop recording just after the same feature. This makes clipping much easier later. We then enter a name for a recording and the capture is complete. At this point, the Moidles hardware portion is complete, so I'll move to a clearer version of the software. After we've captured a scan, we need to unarchive it in order to do frame accurate clipping. This is usually a pretty quick process, but I've speeded it up for the purpose of this video. Once unarchiving is complete, we can trim the video to get a full 360 degree clip. You can move the start, end, or seek positions easily with indicators on the bottom or adjust them by dragging in the video window for more accuracy. In this case, the clip from frame 10 to 524 makes a complete 360 degree scan of the object. Moidles works best when it has a clear image of only the laser, so we go back into the trim view and adjust the brightness and contrast to minimize any external lights and laser reflections. Finally, we hit Analyze to extract the point information from the video frames. This may take a minute or two as well. When analysis is complete, we switch to the Models tab, click on the List icon to bring up our Models list and view our new model. There are a number of different options for viewing your models. The most raw of them is the entire point cloud without any filtering. This gives you an immediate impression of how many points were captured. The next option is the normals point cloud view, where points facing away from you are hidden. The last option is a solid view, where successive scan lines are joined together to form a solid model. Each view option also has coloring options. The first is of course solid green. The next shows successive scan lines in different colors. The one after that shows different colors based on the vertical position of the pixel in the original scan. The final one shows a laser position when scanning to help you understand where the holes in the models come from. The model viewer also allows you to zoom in and out of the model to view features more closely. 
That's it for the Models Project. Thanks for watching.